The A500 Mini brought an emotional response to us in our review, and since then we released Pandori 500, a free tool that unlocks the A500 Mini so we can play games from many more systems. Sure, you can play arcade and PlayStation on this, but we were very surprised with the amount of interest in playing two-player Amiga games with a mouse. In today's video, we'll be showing a sneak peek at the new Pandori 500. Welcome to Team Pandori. Subscribe. In the new Pandori 500, we've compiled the latest version of Amiberry. We've also made many fixes and enhancements to the underlying system. We've managed to create a smaller mini version of Pandori, which allows other A500 mini developers to use this without the bloat. If you want to use Pandori 500's other emulators, such as PSP or Dreamcast, you'll be able to upgrade from our website. Starting up a Mini Amiga or AGS2 from the standard menu is as simple as always. So here we have a Mini Amiga with Pandori 500 Mini. At the top we have shortcuts for many of the tools. Jimmy's added many more mods, and the playback works fantastic with the new version of Pandori 500. Tribes women. Ew, now they're flat. <laughs> yeah, but they're still cool. Cool. <laughs> Timber. <laughs> you could also try Hippo Player. This one also plays mods. We just press the play button. And then find them. Alright, I'm just gonna put all these in a playlist. All, then okay. Let's try another. When it comes to Amiga though, I like to play some games. A favourite front end of ours is Tiny Launcher. It's a very quick and snappy front end for WHD load games, demos and music. Select a game, push your button and off you go. Jimmy's also added a bunch of new screenshots, so you can preview a game before we load it up. We also have the new Amiberry Virtual Keyboard, and this one has every key, so closing games only with a controller is much easier. And I love this game. So let's go back to Tiny Launcher and try out some demos. Let's go back to the main menu, slide it over. We have a very nice list. Just going to move it over to a favourite. Where is it? Ah, there it is. But brain. Perfect. Let's try another favourite. Now this one was great on a normal A500. On the stock A500 Mini, it doesn't run too well. Let's see if anything's improved. So some things still slow down, but we'll have some tricks up our sleeve in the future. Another thing we've added is the light blinking on data access. When things are loading up, this can look pretty nice indeed. Just going to show you how my F500 Mini is connected up. Next to the HDMI, I have the USB drive plugged in. The center USB port is connected to the Hori Xbox 360 arcade stick, fully compatible with even the stock F500 Mini, and it's a brilliant Amiga controller. On the very left, we have a USB hub. This one's with three USB ports. 
Logitech dongle on the end for the keyboard and mouse. But this hub has a network card installed, and that's connected to my home network. You guessed it, our 800 Mini now has network support. We check out our internet folder. There are a few things we could use like AMI FTP, Mod Radio. But let's check out some websites. So we're going to use Eyebrows, and we'll be able to use RTG, very high resolution. And the magic of this is we don't have to do any setup at all. AmiBerry does all the hard work for the drivers. Let's have a quick browse. Here's Amiga.org. Ah, the 500 Plus. The 500 Plus recently has been getting a lot of hate. Let's check Aminet. Yeah, it's looking good. What is this? Unofficial German catalogue of thermals. Let's check some Amiga news. Yeah, ja, alles ist in Deutsch, aber guck mal. Englische Version ist da oben. Bisschen Nachrichten von Kartenspiel, Amiga Duel. Und ein bisschen Nachrichten von WHD Load. At the top right, we can use Google to search. While it does function, it's a bit off. Maybe just typing out Pandora 500 just blows its mind. Yeah, we are getting some SSL errors. I'm pretty sure the eyebrows may need an update. So what else can we do? Having a mod radio station would be pretty cool. But we're going to check out YAM. This one's an email client for Amiga. I've set this up with my email account, and fingers crossed, we may get an email. All right, so I think top right, get. Let's try that. Hey, yo. Who's this from? How much do you love your new Amin Amin version? All right. <laughs> yep, I'm enjoying this a lot. This is the first time I've been on the internet with an Amiga. Thanks for the email, Jimmy. Just thinking, what else can we do with them and Amiga? Well, internet's done. Babes. All right. Wonder what's in here. Bit of uh, Samantha Fox. All right. As we said earlier, Pandora 500 Mini can be used with any distro, including AGS2. Outside the things we've already mentioned, there'll also be better controller compatibility and other things that just slip my mind. If you'd like to see a follow-up video of us exploring the new possibilities of AGS2, please let us know in the comments. Or if you want to give it a try, we're aiming to release this in the next two weeks. As we finish off, here's a big thank you to all of those on our Patreon. Here at Team Pandory, we make video reviews, guides, and help fix them cheap arcade boxes and the A500 Mini. If you'd like to help us out, please jump on, or a simple like and subscribe would do us a solid. Anyway, this has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandory, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!